So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. Today here in the Philippines, we are now on our 7th week of the quarantine and I hope you guys are doing well at home. In this video, we are going to be having a very special watercolor review and what makes this special is because we are going to be comparing side by side two different sets from the same brand. Yes, the same brand and that brand is no other than the Prang watercolors. I know some of you guys have seen my review of the Prang watercolors last year, November 2019. And this time we are going to be reviewing, of course, a different set. And this set was the one I used back in college. So that was already 14 or 13 years ago. This is the set I am talking about. And this is the set that we reviewed last year. So as you can see from the packaging, they look very differently and also they perform differently. I think it's very interesting to see their differences and might as well figure out which one is the better set. I got both these sets at National Bookstore but unfortunately I can't remember anymore how much I got the old set for so uh, I'm sorry about that. But for those who would like to see my review of the new set, um, I'll be putting the link at the description box. Just click it please. And now let's take a look at their packaging. So basically you can see the same information. Um, you can see their logo, their brand name, and it says here semi-moist. Also says here semi-moist. And it says here Ticon de Roga Company Dixon. And here in the old set it says here 2005. And this new set says here 2010. So um that's five years of difference if we assume that this set is manufactured in 2010 and this one is 2005 and of course the same website and uh, it says here it's made in Mexico both are made in Mexico so it's still the same but the first thing you'd notice in the old set is that it's made out of these two detachable palettes There you go so I am seeing another advantage here because if you happen to just want to bring eight colors with you or fewer colors with you you can just uh, bring one and if you happen to uh, want to bring all your 16 colors you can just attach them together but in the new set you have no choice than to bring all the 16 and also another very noticeable difference is that in the old set they provided the color names in three languages while in the new set they did not provide any more the names and I am seeing some reviews that the new set has a uh, label sheet where they provided the color names but unfortunately in my set I didn't have that both of them have included brushes in their packaging and as you can see the old brush i think is not usable as compared to the new one which is i think a synthetic one which is pretty decent for the price i never used this one because i think it's gonna you know it's not gonna perform well i think the hair is gonna fall and for our side by sides watching comparison we are gonna paint prank 2007 on our left and prank 2009 on our right so let's begin so as you can see the white color has become a buff titanium like white on the 2007 edition and in our 2019 it looks um, yeah a bit more cleaner but I honestly like this color. It looks really like buff titanium of Daniel Smith. Next we have yellow. Which looks fine. Now we have the 2019. It looks lighter. And it's harder to rivet. 
so the values of the yellow from 2007 is deeper next we have yellow orange next we have here yellow orange also so it looks the same but it's really harder to do it so far with the 2019 and as you can see the colors from 2007 move better as you can see as you can see it has already flowed it has already settled on its own next we have orange So the 2019 version looks more on the red side and it feels like um, it's thicker. As you can see, it leaves some lines or um, brush lines as compared to uh, the old one which settles more evenly. Now let's see red-orange. Let's see here. Let's see, it doesn't activate as quickly as the uh, old prong. And again, here you can see that the color is deeper in the old prong. Next, we have red. It's just so easy to. Uh, get colors from the old so far now let's try out the 2019 it's the same color but again it's really harder to get colors in 2019 next we have red violet Now let's see 2019. See that huge difference. So let's get more pigments. The red violet from the 2019 looks very different. It looks more on the purple side. But they're both beautiful. Now let's go to Violet. Now the 2019. See, uh, the, see the 2007 version is really more intense at first you know, attempt. So you need to uh, do it again on the 2019 version to get that same intensity. But unfortunately, once you do that, you will get those, you know, uneven strokes as compared to the uh, old one, which, you know, settles very beautifully, smoothly. Now, let's go to the blue-violet 2019 first. So, here it is. Now, let's see the 2007. Now let's see blue from 2007. So this is a 2019 version. It's the same blue but not the same intensity. So we need to put more effort for the 2019 version. So again here you can see the 2007 version settled a lot better as compared to the 2019 which is leaving some hard lines there again in the blue you can see the difference now let's go to turquoise wow this is a beautiful shade of turquoise the world seems small we can see 
So the 2019 version looks more on the red side. This looks more like phthalo blue and this one is really closer to turquoise or green. Now let's go to blue green. Now let's check out the 2019. You see you don't get as much paints as how you get from the 20. 07. Now let's have green. Now let's see 2019's green. So this is a different shade. This is a more cool, more on the cool side. So this is a different shade of green. It leans towards uh, blue while this one is more like hooker's green or leans towards yellow and it's darker also let's see okay. so you need to uh, put effort also in green so let's do the same for here. so for the green they're both really intense but at the same time, they are different. Next, let's have yellow green. Next, let's have brown. Like a bird on a tree. Now, let's go to the brown 2019. Again, Nice brown, but they are different brown. The 2019 version looks more on the red side. I think this is closer to PR101. And the 2007 version is more like a burnt umber, PBR7. And lastly, let's go to the black. So now that it's dry, we can now have a closer look. And also, we can now choose which color is better individually. And uh, we are gonna put check marks on the colors that we are gonna choose. So let's start with white. I really believe a white color should look more like this one. But I personally love this color. I think this is more useful to me. But if you use your, you know, your white paint, and eventually it turns brown imagine how your painting could look like right so if you're using brown now I think you can trust the white that it has because it may look your mixes in time darker I don't know but I think I'm gonna go here with the 2019 in the yellow I think it's obvious which color one here I think that 2007 because it's deeper and it's I think it's settled better. Now let's have yellow orange. Obviously, um, the winner is the 2007 because it's settled nicer and smoother. The same thing with the orange. Here for the red orange, I think the old one looks a little weird. It looks like blood now. So I'm choosing the 2019. For the red, I think um, it's a draw. It's equal. For the red violet, both are really beautiful versions of red violet, but I think the 2007 version is nearer to the title or to the name of the color, so I'm choosing the 2007 version. Plus, I think this is more pure. I think this. 
2019 version has a white in it. I feel like it's opaque. For the violet, I think the winner also is the 2007 because it flowed better. Same thing for the blue violet, obviously. This flowed very smoothly as compared to the 2019. The same thing with the blue, both intensity wise and the flow. The same thing again for turquoise. Also, the same thing with the blue green. Green, I think they performed on the same level but I'm choosing the shade of green that I prefer so I'm choosing the green from 2007 because I always prefer the warmer color for yellow green the 2007 is better I think it flowed more evenly and I think it's more intense for the browns, I think they're both intense, but they're two different colors. I think this is more like PR101, Ancient Red something. This one is Burnt Umber, PBR7. So uh, I think this is closer to the name brown, so I'm choosing this one. Plus, I think it um, moved a little bit better as compared to the 2019. For the black, I think it's a draw. So now let's count the scores for the Prang 2007. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 check marks. And in while in 2019 it got 1, 2, 2 check marks. And we got two draws so is this 16 yes it's 16 so I think here it's clear that our winner is the Prang 2007 so again let's have a closer look and for our traditional swatch sheet and sample painting we are going to be using as usual arches 185 cold pressed cotton paper and since we have already swatched these a while ago when we compared the two sets we can now speed this up So now let's do our sample painting. By the way, for our sample painting, I'm gonna be doing the same. I'm gonna try to achieve the same so that the comparison will be much easier later on. So I think um, we're done and before we evaluate let's dry them first so now let's take a closer look at our swatch sheet and our sample painting and now if we are to compare the two lines I think uh, generally the colors from the 2007 are more vibrant Generally, they are easier to rewet and they also move and settle better as compared to the 2019 version. Also, some colors are different, uh, particularly the red-orange, the red-violet, the brown, the green, and also the white. 
So for those colors, it all boils down to the preference of the artist but I prefer the colors from the 2007 because generally they are you know, more intense. And of course, now we are not gonna miss our favorite part, the comparison portion. And to start with, let's start with the paints or the brands that are less performing than the Prang Watercolors 2007. So let's start with Best Buy which is very chalky and very light. Next is Symbolion, the same issues, very chalky and very light. Faber-Castell Solid Watercolors, though very intense, um, they fell short when it comes to the movement. I think this is very obvious here. Also, Sakura Koi Pocket Field Sketchbox, very bright and intense colors, but you know, the movement is very weird. Next is Reeves watercolors, same issues, strong colors but weird movement of colors. And lastly, Maris watercolors, which are very light and less saturated as compared to the 2007 version. And these two sets are the sets that I think very much comparable to the Prang 2007. First, the Pentel watercolors, fine grade, and the Faber-Castell in tubes. And our last group of watercolors are the sets that I think performed better than the 2007 Prang. First is Windsor and Newton China, which provided pigment coats. Next is Superior watercolors. I think this is still um, a debate for myself because they are very much comparable. But yeah, let's proceed. Windsor Newton Cutman, which provided pigment coats. Lucas Aquarel, which is also so easy to revet. Sonnet Watercolors, which are very vibrant aside from the fact that they provide pigment coat. Next is Kokuyo Kamlin Camel Watercolors, which have very deep and strong punchy colors. Though they did not provide pigment coats, they provided light fastness rating in their website. Next is Paul Rubens Watercolors, which are very transparent and they also provided pigment coats. Next is Van Gogh 12 plus V Half Pants which are very very easy to use, very vibrant and also provided pigment coats. Next is Holbein, I think we don't need to explain. Also Mijello, Mission Gold, White Knights, which is one of the best here. And of course, Daniel Smith Essential Set. Um, maybe some of you are wondering why do we have to do the 2007 review when in fact Prang has already released the latest version. Um, I think the main advantage in doing this review and comparison is that we get to broaden our experience. This is a good exercise for us to be more aware and more observant of the materials that we use. This allows us to see uh, the differences, even the smallest changes and um, that affects our performance, our reactions, our impressions also to other artists, to their experiences because this artist may not have experienced what you are using now that's why he or she is having that you know impression on a certain line things like that. It's also cool and interesting to you know discover and explore the differences, the developments if there is on certain lines and brands and I think it's just you know fun to do as well so um, if you're gonna ask me which one is better I think honestly it's the 2007 version and if you can find the 2007 version I think it's a better uh, set of paints because it flows easier the colors are more vibrant generally the colors are I think better and yeah the most important thing is that they settle more easily and more evenly but yeah if you can find this set the better and I've also seen some vintage sets in the US which are placed in tins I'm also very interested to trying that out but unfortunately they're out of reach here in the Philippines so let's just wait if we can have that soon 
But for now, between these two, yeah, the 2007 wins. But of course, if you cannot find the 2007 version, the 2019 is not very bad at all. This is still a very great student grade paints and you still can learn a lot using these paints and we really just need to maximize anything that is within our reach for the moment. So now, how do we conclude? Okay, so if you're gonna ask me would I recommend the 2007 version, my answer is a definite yes. Okay, but if you can't find the 2007 set, the latest set is still not a bad choice at all. Okay, you can have this. So I think we're done. If you have more questions, just comment it below. I want to hear all of you and just leave your comments down and I'll be answering as soon as I can. Again, thank you for watching and see you next week.